Right, I finally got it working. So, what we're going to do is a demonstration for the iPhone X. So, we're going to take the back panel off using the laser. To cut a long story short, turned out it was a broken board inside the unit. They sent the board across. This board here. So, this whole board was defective. Which is annoying, but credit where credit's due. The company stuck by, sorted it out, uh, sent it through. Ironically, they told me they were going to post it. Um, two weeks later, I asked, where's the tracking number? And they lost it in the post. Probably forgot to send it out. But never mind. It was one calamity after another. But it's finally solved. So... This is going to be the second iPhone X that I've done on here. Uh, this one here is an iCloud locked one. So this is going to be one of those shitty videos where it's already half done. But it shouldn't matter because the only thing we're interested in is taking this glass panel off and the camera section here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the cameras out because what, what we'd normally do in a proper repair of this is we'd remove the screen, take out the rear cameras, remove this bezel around the outside that you can't see here. Uh, once that's removed, then it can go into the laser, clean the pads up, glue it down, the bezel goes back in, the cameras go back in, and then the screen goes on and it's fully tested. You can use this machine without taking the device apart, but I think for a more professional finish, you definitely should take the uh, cameras out just to protect them. They're really sensitive. It would be easy to damage them with heat and whatnot. Uh, and it doesn't take very long to take it apart. So why wouldn't you? So what I'm going to do is put this back on the heat. And I'm going to shut this up because it's noisy. Uh, I'll give you a quick run through of what we've built here. This is the cabinet we've built with 10 mm uh, perspex or plexiglass, I think, if you're in America. Uh, we've got the extraction unit going directly into the top because there is a lot of nasty stuff that comes out of this when you're lasering, uh, especially when you do the aluminium backs. It made me feel like I was dead when I have some of it the other week, so that's when the box got built. Uh, you know, for dramatic effects on the side, doesn't need the side window, but why not? And then what we've got over here... It's just a standard laptop running the program. Might as well give the company a shout out. M Triangle. Triangle, depending on where you're from. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the camera off. Obviously, this one is a demo. The likelihood of this camera unit working is almost nil. So then what we're interested in, I'm going to see if I can zoom in. I'm just going to spray. And then I'm going to see if we can... I've never done this one before, so it might not even come off. I might even need to go into the glue uh, to the heat gun.
Okay, so yeah, I've given up on that. Uh, I can't get that over. Where are we? I don't know if you can see there where where it's been scuffed. There's dents at the top. I can't get it over that. I have bought these surrounds from China, but they're not here for the purposes of the video, or I would just dremel this off um, very carefully. And then we'll just put a new one on at the end. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to just go ahead with taking this off anyway, because it's not necessary. It's just it's just for uh, cosmetic reasons. So next up, what we're going to do is this profile here. We're going to run that. I'm going to line it up and then we're going to go for a burn. So first things first is we'll light on. So now what we're going to do is just burn this profile off and then we'll work on taking the glass off. Okay, and laser on. So that's that done. We'll just get it out and have a look. So as you can see, it's gone through the glass. You can see the glue underneath. So next, what we need to do is remove the glass. Okay. Again, working on the heat. Some of the glass has already come out here. So I'm going to start here. And then hopefully once we get started, it should. Should just pop off nice nice and easily. Okay, that was my first warning shot. I'm gonna put my power goggles on, that actually went in my eye. Okay, safety first. Started.
to try and get us on this. So yeah, that's the place it was called that. Yeah, yeah, I can feel the ridge on it. Okay, now that's off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that back in and just have a look at.
see that's done. Well, you can see this is quite messy so far, but hopefully. see it right, coming off quite nicely. Rub down. Move this out of the way. Hoop that up in a minute. That's all lovely toxic stuff. So so now that's all cleaned up. We we'll get the back on. That was the easy part. So these are supposedly OEM. They do come with an Apple logo, but they also come with tape. And if you can see that, it's got a little Apple logo. But what we're going to do, I'm going to use the tape to stop the proper glue from coming out. So what we're going to do, Thank fuck for that. The camera just stopped recording. Luckily, right at the end of the video. So, that's the finished article. Try and get that to focus. You can see as good as the original. And this is the, I would say, not the quality glass. Obviously the camera's broken, but you can see the gap around the edges there. But 
And obviously, this is just a practice one. But you can see how you can get a good quality finish on it. And without damaging the sides down here, without pry marking it. You know, this was already scuffed up anyway. You can see where it's taken a few bounces. You know, hence the camera being smashed to smithereens. But we're going to do some more videos of these. I'll do some eights. The eights are much easier to do. Yeah. So, that was the laser machine we used to separate the rear glass of the iPhone 8 and the X's and any of the new iPhones that have got glass packs. Um, you can thank Apple for that. We've had to buy a $4,000 laser machine just to get through the glue that they put on the back to stop you from replacing the glass on the back which they could have just put tape on there so thanks apple if you're interested in glass replacement professionally done click the link below